but like they've got cool features like you can you can put portals to teleport back and forth now then like certain things can't be teleported pretty much just or raw metal yeah just raw metal metal, like metal in general yeah once you turn it into something you can transport it all you want yep um so like it's it's not a bad like setup for that but like this map Dooms, how long have we been playing the game? Oh, actually, hold on. I can tell you how long I've been playing. Because I've only played on this one server. 16 hours. 16 hours of in-game time. That's a lot of time in this game. All right. Well, not a lot. But it is a... It's a, a, it's a lot of for, like, what have we been playing? Th- two or three days, maybe? Um, Like, we've not been playing it for a long... Maybe, a, maybe four so it's a decent four hours a day at least um and we may have explored what do you want to guess five to ten percent of the map like if that (laughs) if you would have said two or three i would probably agreed with you really that uh, yeah you know what i well i've done a lot more exploring than you have yeah even with that combined i'd still put it about two or three percent really oh fuck man yeah, so this game's fucking enormous. It's gonna take us like a hundred hours. Oh, easily. Like, cause we just beat the second of I, I think there's five boss fights now. Um, and like now we are at the point we got super lucky early on and found the first two bosses. Hell, we like, found pretty close to each other, which was actually nice. Yeah, but what it what it's gonna take to probably find a swamp though is gonna drive probably him insane. Yeah, maybe it's because, probably... maybe because we have to go uh, we have to go riding around in a boat for a while. Yeah, and I, I mean honestly, it it's gonna be one of those things. I'm probably just gonna uh, <laughs> let you sail around as I do something else. I'll still sit here, but I'm not going to be focused on it because the sailing around in that game makes me seasick. <laughs> I don't know why. It, because it's because the do... waves actually get really fucking, like, outrageous. They do in Sea of Thieves, but that game doesn't make me seasick. But Valheim's motion, like, I guess because you're some, you're on such a smaller, like, dinghy type shit, yep. like, it, it makes my stomach churn after a little bit. I can handle it for about five minutes, and then my stomach starts going, nope, Chuck Tasta. So so I see how this is going to go in the future. It's going to be, hey, cool, you found the new place. Could you set up a portal there? And I'm going to be yeah. like, yeah. Honestly, I'm, it, the only problem I have with this game, a like, major problem, like okay. little problems are like whatever. The only major problem I have is not having a way to have a shared map. If we could oh, like, yeah. if there, like there are mods for it, but at the same time, it's just like uh, I'm not exactly sure how to get it to work properly so that we would have a shared map. Yeah, it, I feel like you should be able to, you know, whosoever uses blank workbench has all the maps, you know, view of anybody else who's used that workbench you know and every time you use it it just updates yours that you've added on to and stuff like that like either that or make an item specifically ooh, ooh, for so like that a cartography table or something yeah like a cartography table to add on to the workbench that would be like cool. i you know I, I wouldn't even be upset with that if it was like a after the second boss fight thing where we're at now yeah. Like, now is the point where that would be super helpful for the rest of the game. You know, where, like, you could go out into the water with, you know, a couple of cores and some eyes and just sail away to make a portal. And I could be exploring the mainland that we have over there. You know, like, just different things. So, since, uh... Dooms and I have been talking about this game for a minute. I've got, I've got something totally. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Jeez, how far into the episode oh, are we? Like ten minutes in. All right. 
Welcome to Swear Jar, another <laughs> late intro. Yo, um, you forgot the oh, intro. I just realized that I was I was looking over at, at the Swear Jar thing on my screen, and I'm like, fuck, I never did an intro. So I'm Jazz, we got Dooms, uh, we, got, we got Cheese, yeah. and we got Marky Mark again. What's Cheese up? just got back from Wisconsin. I'm going to ask him about his trip here in a minute. But first, I want to bring up a completely ridiculous fun fact that I learned just a mere like two hours ago, maybe. All right. So did you all know that domesticated possums often end up being cross-eyed? Okay. And do you want to know why that is? All right. Or, or hold on. Let me, let me, because this is totally worth it. You guys got to see this shit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Text channels. Let me, let me put this. Whoop. Motherfucker paste. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that fucking cross-eyed possum right there. All right, so I found out today <laughs> that that domesticated <laughs> possums often end up cross-eyed like that. And the reason being is because when they're out in the wild, they run around a lot, so they don't gain a lot of weight. But when they're domesticated, they sit around and they be lazy and they get fat. And they have fat glands that are like right where our like where a human temple would be. And they start filling up with fat and pushing their eyes till their eyes are cross-eyed. Alright, huh. so if you have a possum out there, take it out for a fucking walk. Alright? <laughs> like but yeah, apparently that's very common for domesticated possums, and they can still apparently see just fine. <laughs> All right, like apparently it doesn't affect them, it doesn't hurt them, they're just fine. They just, I guess they probably can't be returned to the wild, you know, because they're they're now a derp possum. But derp, derp. Yeah, that is uh, that's the thing I learned today, and then. Uh, are any of you guys doing anything? Like, do you have the ability to pull up Google? Like, besides Dooms, I think Dooms, you're playing uh, uh, Mafia still, aren't you? I mean, I may or may not be killing people stealthily as I can be. What do you need? What do you need? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But the good I'm thing just... about Mafia is that has a pause button that I don't have to worry about the game still running when I press the pause button. So. I'm going to send you guys a link. Oh, All right. Man. To why? Uh, I can remember how to. <laughs> why is... you can't remember how to control C, control V? I don't know why my. It's just not not wanting to. I, my my brain just stopped for a second. You know, thank thank God we're not on Twitch for a moment because they would be looking at you going, "Hey." You can't be putting links in chat. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I had that problem. Yeah. Yeah. I had to fix a little bit of that. That shit sucked. Yeah. That's old. You can't put links in the chat on Twitch. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, you, like, sorry, yeah, you didn't links. know that that's a thing? Yeah, like No, I didn't. That's people Yeah, there, there we go. Those. Click on that. Anybody who's available okay. to click on that, click on that. All right. And this is a real thing. All right, I want you guys to look at. This is something that I would expect you to play, Cheese. All right, a hundred percent could see you yes, playing yes, this. Yes, I remember this. <laughs> this is the ultimate. This is the ultimate lame ass white dude sport. Oh, it's just like it, you're just, That's the funny part. All right, like look yeah, at it, I, if you look at the rotation of pictures, it's all like frat <laughs> dudes and shit, like college yeah. chicks, like on the beach, like it's bad. Let, it's let's be real honest. bad. The, the people who are playing this sport don't look like that. 
No, no. The people that play this sport have like are wearing just an American flag. Like that's their outfit. <laughs> oh, they're the same creators of fucking uh, Strike Jam. Oh, the dude. fuck is Strike Jam? Oh my god, really? You ever seen like a okay? It's four people, to team two, two teams. Okay, and you got a little net, like a little trampoline net, and you have a ball. You have to bounce that ball in the net. All right, and it bounces, and it just goes just go court hole. You have to, you have to constantly keep that ball going, and if it, without touching it on the ground, you have to do this that is ball in a cup. It's Mexico's it's, favorite game for over four hundred years. It's playing, ball in a cup. I remember playing that you in high school. You can't ball in a cup. It, it, yeah, it really sounds bad. just like ball in a cup with extra. Stuff. What you, what you do here is you take the ball and you flip it in the air and catch it in the cup. All right, that's that's what you're telling me. And the, and the funny part is, I'm looking at the schools. Like, there's schools for this shit. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, All right, cheese. All right, I'm gonna be real with you. Ball team that's like for legit for real here. All right. All right, okay. cheese. I'm gonna be professional foosball players. I'm I'm gonna be real you with you here on something too. Behind my back. <laughs> it makes me wanna play it. Oh, do, 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 do. there it is. He's going to show up to your house with this shit now, Jazz. Yeah, probably will. He is. <laughs> He's totally going to show up. You know I, I what? Know how this works. You know what? If it causes him to show up to my house for the first time in six fucking months and Ooh. actually see my bedroom, <laughs> uh, you know what? I, it's, I'm okay with it. Plus, if he shows up... I. Oh, fuck. Gerbil has his camera. I can get... <laughs> if go if he's going to show up, we can get that goddamn camera, all right? And Rage we, bits. Yeah, we can make him eat shit. Make him eat shit. <laughs> hey, man, I've already did a rage bit. You're good, so. you're good. I'm down to do it. I said I would, and I'm not going to back out. This is whenever I'm at the house is one. We're going to do it. So actually, you should thank Jazz uh, because I'll, we were never going to record that shit. And he came out in a bad mood, and that's all how it got started. Out, <laughs> okay, hold on. One, one at a time. Dooms, what did you say? All I could say is Tib has some nasty ass feet. <laughs> yes. And Mark, what did you say? I said you can thank Jazz for starting Rage Bats because we weren't even going to record that shit. And he came out, didn't have a cigarette, and he was mad as fuck. So he's like, hmm, what the fuck are these guys doing? Let's make it worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is how it works sometimes. So I've got to uh, I've got to find the piece of paper. Uh, one of my one of the friends I have made along my travels at work gave me something the other day and dooms no offense i'm sure if you were uh not as big uh you would probably be down to join me for this okay um let me try and oh man it is so hard what what i lack for on the bike i make up for in size in real life Hey yo! <laughs> uh, how the fuck? God, it makes me mad. I'm trying to watch this damn game. Fuck. <laughs> what are you even doing? I mean, it, it's tournament season somewhere. What me? Of course it is. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, man. The Milwaukee Bucks facing the the Phoenix Suns, and we're in the finals. We are three, three two <laughs> on them, and this is game six. If we win this, we win the championships. The last time we won one was nineteen seventy one, fifty years ago. So this damn, is damn. You're starting to sound like the Devils. Like, oh, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Brutal, I'm, this is, considering that's that fine because this is funny. That's just, this is basketball. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I just always got to take the opportunity to poke fun at the devils. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah exists, gerbils. We'll make fun of okay. It. You know what? Since we're, we, we have hockey brought up, cheese, what the fuck is with the fucking Seattle's logo? Oh, well, that shit looks I, so dumb. Dude, I haven't even seen it yet, because I just saw them doing the... What? Oh, my God. You haven't seen it yet? Hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'm, put it in the... No, I'm looking it up right now. It's, it, it it's right. a nightmare. Seattle Krakens. All right, like... Man, me and Jenny were talking about that, and I was like, dude, Jazz is going to be pissed. <laughs> I mean, I get that it's like a Kraken with a tentacle. I see the eye. I get it. All right. 
but like I mean, this like is already really... leading into critical board territory all right no that's not what i was gonna say i was gonna say <laughs> do you remember in middle school when you used to draw the like lame ass s out of all that's the like what it angles? looks like yes that's exactly what it lo- it's like somebody was somebody's like do you remember those like what i just did remember those lame ass s's we used to draw let's try and make one look cool and that's what they came up with all right like yeah um so yeah, cheese yeah i can see that the, the s is really dumb like it is pretty dumb um the jersey with the anchor that's pretty dope but other than that like yeah uh i am gonna end, i am gonna end up buying one though and obviously <laughs> you are because it's, it's awesome man it's actually kind of awesome Dude, I saw that Subban's up to be taken by them, and I'm like, please, no. Yep. Oh, my God. And guess God. what? And the funny part is we could actually get Point, too. Because Point is getting let go uh, let go by Tampa. Yeah, I saw that. Me yeah. and Jenny talked about this all day. It was fun. I was like, yeah, this is going to be funny. Hey, cheese. What up? You grew up at, well, grew up. You lived out in like West Knox area for a while, right? Yes. Um, do you know where Carnes is? Yes. Is it a bad neighborhood? Yes. How bad? I've been out there. It's it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, uh, God damn it! It's pretty bad, bro. Like, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Well, Magnolia so, is where I got shot at once. That was fun. Oh, well, Magnolia is closer that to part. East Knox. <laughs> like I was like, oof, fuck that. Magnolia is fucking bad. Yeah. I've been on Magnolia plenty of times, but no, one of uh, one of my buddies I've made at uh, the Knife Works. Uh, I was talking to him about something, and he invited me to do. Yeah, I, I'm. I don't want to do it injustice and and honestly say something stupid he said it's budo taijutsu um and it's okay. like true like he 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 was doing swordsman training and stuff and okay. it it looks really awesome but it's legitimately it's in the middle of carnes mm. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So it's a cool idea. I was going to see if I could get Cheese to do that with me because I'm having difficulty at the moment getting, uh, finding an improv class that we can do. And everybody, everybody I have told that I want to do this has said the exact same thing. What's that? They want to go and watch. Oh, that's fine. Every- Everybody wants to go and watch. And no offense, Cheese, none of them give a fuck about you. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right, like, none of them are like, oh, yeah, I want to go see Cheese because, like, he's going to bomb or anything like that. Because they, they, they yeah, want to yeah, see me because they – well, no, it's it's because they think I'm going to do so well at it that I, they're like, you're going to do great. I would love to see you do that. And I'm like – I've I've never I mean this is this in the occasional video or stream with Gerbil is the most like improv type stuff I've had to do in my life. Um but you know, you remember when I was working at the gnome with Kyle and I would come over and be like, dude, this was the bit Kyle and I played for like six hours tonight. You know, like where we just went into a character and we were that character all night while we were dealing with the servers which would drive them insane all right like if you're at work and you're just trying to do your job and your job is to serve alcohol to a bunch of drunk people you don't want your kitchen staff pretending that they're other people okay like i can understand where that probably got annoying really quick when they'd walk back there and they'd be like yo kyle yeah, like I need, we need shit, and we'd be like, no, we we're not here. Th- those are different people. Our names are Vlad and fuck you. All right, like yeah, I can I, see how that would get old really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can I can understand why people wouldn't enjoy that entirely, but 
Yeah. He was still the most fun person to work with. I like I think out of every job I've ever had, mm-hmm. Kyle is probably my favorite person I've worked with. Like cuz it didn't matter which one of us took like lead or follow for what we were doing in the kitchen. Everything always ran perfectly smooth all the way through. <laughs> like and it was even dumber. I remember nights we would actually have a like quote unquote full kitchen staff which would be like three or four people and Kyle and I would be bored to tears like we we would just walk away and come back cuz it's like did, we don't Did somebody put something in? No. Oh. Yeah, like Well, no, not even that. It would be like he one of, we would basically just bounce back and forth. You know, he'd go smoke, be back in 15, 20 minutes. I'd go smoke, be back in 15, 20 minutes. And nobody would notice we were gone because everything was done. You know, like we we had a we had a lot of freedom there back then. I don't know what it's like now. Um, well, I mean, according to Jenny, before she left, it was a shit show. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, so... I want to hear. I want to hear from the cheese meister. Hmm. I want to hear about this Wisconsin trip. You went to Wisconsin. Yeah, I went home. Mm-mm. Yeah, I went back home for a week. It was fun. Uh, yeah, I just chilled with my brothers for a couple of week, uh, a couple of days. Um, nice. Chilled there, played some games, played some magic. They hated <laughs> me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they really did not. What'd you do? Bet. Destroy them? Oh, dude. It was terrible. Uh, <laughs> How many a, Dooms' his decks did you bring? I just brought one. Oh, it was loot. Oh, dude, dick move. I just brought one with me, and we only which played one? Like bag of dicks. Of course, it was bag of dicks. <laughs> <sighs> it was good. I still remember the last time I saw you and Lo- you and Dooms play jazz. That deck he had just fucked your whole deck. You just kept laying cards down. Like, half your deck was gone in five seconds, it seemed. Dude, we, uh... I get told a lot of times I'm not supposed to play Bill anymore. Yeah. We, uh... Dooms and I actually played a couple of, uh... couple games of Pokemon the other night. Oh, yeah. We played two. It was was just two games. The decks were kind of one-sided versus each other, I feel like, for sure. Yeah, um... Both decks seem like we played two different uh, versus deck sets that I have. Uh, I have the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee set, and then, fuck, it was the Rayquaza versus, what was it, Kalos or some shit? Yeah. Um, I, and I, like, I never paid attention to that, Jen. Yeah, I, I didn't really either. The only reason I picked it, it was... Uh, was because I was like, oh, Rayquaza. I know Rayquaza is probably OP as fuck. I'll grab it. It's literally what my thought process was. And I was correct. Um, We each won a match, and it was with, in my opinion, the better deck each time. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the Eevee deck is better than the Pikachu deck. Uh, and I definitely feel like the Rayquaza deck is leagues better. Then well, I mean, the I had like, one option with that deck, and I played it the way you were supposed to play it, but at the same time, it was just like... Honestly, uh, it was... All your energy put on the right people. Like, unless I had, like, cards that would have made, made you discard energy, I don't think I could have probably beat you. <laughs> yeah, it, that deck was just, like, giving me what I needed exactly when I needed it, for the most part. Um, It was very weird. And that perfect. Was the way my, that's the way the EV one went for me. Yeah, and that that's part of why I didn't feel guilty too much about it. Like I was like, all right, I got my ass beat. You got your ass beat. It was a pretty even night. Uh, I didn't want to do like I didn't even want to consider a best two out of three type of yeah, scenario. I, Not I was like, like, I was like, no, I, I I was much happier going one and one personally. I was like, I didn't lose both matches. Yeah. Um, Small victories. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes against Dooms, you got to do it that way. 
Other yeah. than that, I uh, just went to my other brother's house, chilled with my nieces and nephews, uh, played video games, went out to eat, had a very interesting evening there. Brother chugged down 66 ounces of margarita, and I had about 44. So, yeah, he was he was chugging down those fishbowls. Uh, oh, my God. The crazy slit, if oh, I remember dude. correctly. Oh, yeah. were, you, uh, were you guys sloppy? Oh, dude, we were. And then uh, so bad that yeah. one, the cups that they bring us, like, when they put the margaritas in, we looked at it. And we was like, these are nice-ass cups. Like, these are fucking nice. Did and, you steal uh, the cup? My co- partner, Crime, my niece, <laughs> grabs her hoodie and she just snooks it right into her fucking hoodie. And uh, we took it out and took it home. This is a sweet-ass cup. I'm taking it yeah, home. It was fucking nice. And uh, what else? Fuck. Other than that, we went to mom's party, birthday party. That was interesting as fuck. Um, About about 100 people were there. And mom had everything. I mean everything. Food. She had two diamond, like two pyramids of just like, you know, water on the bottom. And the middle and the top were just full of beer. Just filled Uh. with beer. And they got uh, three cans, like three tanks. Of old fashioned mix, right? Oh, dude, she had a tab going for old fashioned whiskeys, and that lasted uh, about when I was leaving. The second can was about to be empty, and each can's 90 cups. Oh my god, and that's uh, just that, that lots hurts. of a lot of food. We played cornhole, we played, um. Of course you played cornhole. Yeah, yeah, we played cornhole and shit. We played what else do you play when you're drunk? We played football. It, it, and, uh, it's a game of skill. What else are you going to do? A lot of cards. Drunk? We played a lot of cards. A lot of people like to play games of skill when they get drunk. Uh, we play a lot of smear and uh, cribbage. Oh. I know a lot of people who like to play pool when they're drunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I love pool. I love it. Uh, Did you say they opened up a new pool hall in Sevierville? We were just all drunk. Uh, kind of. I, I don't know. I just I haven't know. had a chance to check it out. Everybody has told me about it, and I have told everybody the exact same thing. I'm garbage at pool. Why would I go there? Yeah, you, like, you know, pool is one of those games you do get progressively better the more you play it. Yeah. No. Then it you is. actually learn stuff like English on the ball. And... No. No. This is like drinking and shooting pool. It's just no it's better no. that or shooting darts, and I love darts. We're gonna get some dooms. Darts. I was at the gnome for how long? I played a lot of games of pool in those years, and never, ever, ever got any better. Because your fucking negativity, that's why. No, it's yeah. just <laughs> it's just because like, well, no, I've well, been playing pool well, for a long yeah, time. I mean, yeah, I don't cool have, I don't have the patience. I don't have the eye for it. Like, I can't see the angles. I can't like. Well, do you- your point of view actually would you play it oh yeah no i've tried i've i just it it doesn't make sense to me okay like i'm i love people that wait, play wait, wait. it i think What's it's cool but... geometry as a whole oh no fuck geometry it that's is. why yeah that's why yeah no geometry was the math class that got me out of advanced math I hate geometry. I hate math in general. So, like, yeah, I'm great funny. with algebra and quick math and statistics and like that kind of shit. But you want to ask me about angles, and I'm like, yeah, those are <laughs> those are a thing. That's when when two lines intersect in a corner. Oh, that's it hurts yeah. hearing it. Yeah, it does. Uh, mm. all right, well, uh... Yeah, and uh, yeah, it, and the next day I had to go on the flight, and that pissed me off. I mean, well, yeah, you had to wear a mask on the flight. Well, yeah, that wasn't that didn't piss me off. No, no, that didn't yeah. piss me off. What pissed me off is that the four delays on my first flight that caused my second flight to be canceled and find another flight, and that was delayed twice. Yeah, I didn't make it home until like twelve thirty. One o'clock. That's fucked, dude. And then I had to work the next day at five in the morning. So, Damn. Yeah, didn't much sleep at all. Like I think I got maybe an hour, and that was it. And then I went to work, left about like five o'clock, and I was like, "Yep, I'm done doing this shit. I'm done." I went <laughs> home, 
strain for like two and a half hours and i'm like all right i'm going to bed <sighs> yeah i i know you streamed because uh i mentioned that to dooms i was like yep cheese must be home and he went huh <laughs> yeah. i was like he's streaming so he definitely must be home mm -hmm. yeah sorry i didn't tell anybody i was home i was so fucking tired i was like Ugh. no i assumed you were um just yeah. because of the t well, like around when it was i was like cheese should be home today yeah um so i'm gonna start the national holidays real quick because i'm still going through those because they're hilarious what's going to be bad is once i've gone through a year's worth we're not going to have any more um so let's start wednesday july 21st national junk food day <clears throat> eat your junk food tomorrow guys well today for listeners tomorrow for everyone else um well for the, th the three of you hmm. um I don't know why I leaned around my phone and looked at my monitor as if like you guys could see me and I could see you, but it's just a monitor and there's nothing there. It's just your fucking circles lighting up. All right. Um, Thursday, July 22nd, national hammock day. Uh, I mean, also, I actually have a hammock. I mean, uh, that sounds like a pretty nice day. Yeah. Also, uh, not sure why it's on this list in particular, but it is Selena Gomez's birthday. Not sure why it's there, but I'm going to say it. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, there are probably perverts that are just like, yeah, that's a thing. Hey, you know what, though? She's pretty hot. She's pretty hot. And uh, she, she does a song with uh, a band I like, uh, Forever the Sickest Kids. Um, she does a song with them, and it's pretty good. Not going to lie. Uh, it's not like... It is one of my favorites of their songs, but not because of her. I actually didn't know who the female vocalist was the first time I heard the song. Um. <sighs> what? This, this one is kind of weird, and I don't know how I feel about it. But it's the only holiday for the day. Friday, July 23rd. And I'm going to read this word for word. National Gorgeous Grandma Day. What? Yep, I said it. Uh, National Gorgeous Grandma Day. Hard no. Like, what the fuck? Maybe you call her Nana. Maybe you call her Granny. Maybe you call her when you're in trouble because you know she'll be there for you at the drop of a hat. Whatever the case may be, today is her day. But not just Grandma Day. Oh no, this... July 23rd, we celebrate National Gorgeous Grandma Day. Today's the day to tell old Granny just how stunning she really is. She looks fly for an 80-year-old, you have to admit. We bet all the grandpas are dying to get with her. What the fuck is this that I just read? What the f- what the fuck, dude? Like, who made this holiday? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't- Hold on, I can I'm gonna feel your brain breaking. Yeah, uh, I need to I need to vet through <laughs> these the week before. Like before we started the podcast, I should have gone through these and vetted them so I could have answered questions about this because this hurts. <sighs> Dude, I found some fucking facts, bro. I don't understand it <laughs> so it was created in 1984 by alice solomon all right apparently it has something to do with the golden girls of course uh it probably some dude thinking about betty white what what oh, okay. 2018, world's hottest grandma. Oh, no. All right, I got to pull this up. Hold on. I got to go to the other page. You're here. Uh, Hold on. He's... Mm. That moment of he's like, this can't be for real. And he's like, this is not a thing. Oh, my God, it is. <laughs> well, hey, I'm going to say this before Wiley searching this shit. Is, do you know they actually made an official ruling on how many... Uh, licks it takes to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. 
The world may never know. No. They finally decided. They finally decided. What's the okay. number? It takes. Well, I actually. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? How is it? Double digits at least. I'll give you. I'll give you. It's trip. Uh, triple. It's what a hundred? Yes. Is that without biting it? Because I mean, biting it changes the whole. It's number. between one hundred and a thousand. Holy I'll shit! I'll give you that. Uh, what? One fifty? No. Two forty-seven? Nope. Higher. Three hundred? Higher. Four hundred? Lower. It's three hundred. It's three hundred and sixty-four licks. I usually just bite the damn thing. Being it honest, was, it was uh, recorded for an engineering st- uh, student scientific uh, project for Purdue University. Yeah, there's no fucking way that chick's a grandma. No, dude. No, for real. It's a Maxim article, and it says world's hardest, uh, world's hottest grandma launches topless <laughs> OnlyFans calendar after <laughs> clashing with Instagram and TikTok. I can see gerbil scrubbing this down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what like, fuck? <sighs> it's real. I, I, she, she's a grandma. All right, like. You know what, though? You know what, though? It's not hard to be a decent-looking grandma. She could only be, like, 46. All right? Like, True. my mom became a grandma at 50. So, it's not hard to become a grandparent in, like, your late, mid to late 40s. And nowadays, that's not uncommon. Let's so, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> she could be 46 years old. All right? Like... With that amount of makeup on, she's pretty good looking. Do you want to see what she looks like without the makeup on? Nope. nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have that picture pulled up too, and it's it's uh. I'm not doing it. I'm not looking. I'm divide. not looking. It's not as, not as bad as you would think. Right. It's not as bad as you would think. Did you guys know that Walmart has a lower accept accept ah acceptance acceptance? Wow, I can't even say that word today. Right than Harvard. Wait, wait. How could somebody not be accepted to Walmart when there's literally signs everywhere it's like they're looking for help? Mm. Look at it that. Says, She's thought right that. Here, it says right here that Harvard uh, from this year it had a 4.5% rate, right? Walmart only had a 2.6% rate. I mean, so that picture of her without makeup losses. makes her look like Chanel West Coast. A little bit, yeah. Oh my God. Now I have to look. Alright, like, I'm just saying, she could be in her 40s. It's not that weird. Alright, this totally derailed me. I need to finish the fucking holidays. Alright. <laughs> Saturday, July 24th. Uh, National Amelia El- Earhart Day. National Cousins Day. That sounds creepy. Is that National- not Lamar, Kentucky? <laughs> 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 not gonna lie, I'm not sure if this is like uh, what this is about, but it's uh, and this isn't to be any kind of way, but it's a bunch of Asians in the picture they have. Um, I don't know what type of Asian they they look like Filipino most likely, um, but uh, let's see. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't really. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck that. Um Oh my god, National Tequila Day. Oh, National like... Drive Through Day. National Tequila Day sounds like Cheese's Day. I know. Cheese, do you like tequila? Uh yes. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I just don't drink it much cuz it takes my it, it my clothes fall off. I drink too much. Oh, mine too. Uh, just, mine too. That's why I don't like tequilas because I like margaritas. Like I'll get to like the max fifty ounces, but like no. I uh, yeah. See, I don't. I don't like uh, drinking tequila because I end up the last three times I drank tequila, I woke up naked next to a woman and do not remember any of it. Okay, hmm. and like I don't I have exploring different alcohols. Maybe you do. Um. But those were different times, Dooms. Those were in my younger days. All right. Oh my in god, general, your apparently. younger days. Yeah, I'm you're fucking thirty. 
All right, like, dude, shut up. Ever since you turned 30, Jenny has been busting my balls because I'm right behind you. Guess what, bro? Uh, nothing changes. Absolutely nothing. I can't uh, remember. I can't even believe you actually had to ask me. It's like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I remember that one night. I was like, Dooms, like, I'm about to turn 30. Is it really, like, a big deal at all? And you were like, no. You were, I was like, do you remember, like, it being a big deal at all? And you were like, no. Outside y'all fucking with me about, like, being 30? Yeah. No. That was it. And I was like, oh, okay. So outside people fucking with me, nothing's going to change. He's like, not really. But everybody else I've talked to who is in their, like, late 30s has told me it's only a matter of time before my body starts to fail. So. I mean, yeah, that, that, that does happen. But you know what the problem is? Is that that number can't exactly be as accurate as it is because medicine keeps fucking with it. Yeah. All right. Sunday, July 25th, National Parents Day, National Wine and Cheese Day. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Get your girl ready ready on that day because that's just a a good old fine wine. All right. This is kind of kind of weird to be right after the other one. But Monday, National Aunt and Uncle Day, National Coffee Milkshake Day. Not a big fan of that, but you know, teach their own. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't like coffee. Um, and then finally, Tuesday, July twenty seventh, National Creme Brulee Day. Oh, creme fraiche. Uh, National Scotch Day. I'm okay with that. I like. I, I'm not a big fan of scotch just because, uh, like it makes me violent for some reason. Um. Wow. Fucking wow. Oh god, what is it? I can't I can't say it because it's for next week's episode, but there's one in the list for next week. Fucking wow, they put that in there. Okay. We're almost done with this month, dude. Like Yeah. It went yeah, by it really quick. Quicker than you probably expected. Yeah. Um, so Cheese, I would assume we're at like the 45 to minute mark, right? 50. 50, yeah, pretty close. We need to end this before, because uh, I saw Gerbil just pop on and to see us on. Um, oh, he's probably and, seeing them. He's, yeah, because he just popped off. He probably like, God damn it, how long are they going to record for? Um, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and end this. Um we're going to say thank everybody for listening. Um, you get another gold star. Put that, put all, you, you need to, you need to go online. You need to get gold stars and you need to put gold stars on a board for every episode you've listened to. Okay. And then you can have your gold star collection. All right. And then you need to get some really big gold stars for the crazy episodes I'm planning in the future. If we ever can get a group to do it properly. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank y'all for listening. Uh, I want to thank my cast for joining me yet again for another wild adventure of mostly the thoughts that come through my brain. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of wild, crazy shit. Um, anything any of y'all want to say? Nah, did you nah. guys have a wonderful evening, morning, and good afternoon? Wherever yeah. you are listening to this broadcast. Hold on. I'm going to put some context into the chat. World's hottest grandma. Just so anybody who sees it besides uh, us knows what the fuck that is. All right. Um, hell Satan and hell yourselves. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.